Here's another important video from the Personal Defense Network. Okay, now let's talk about what I call the knee method of drawing the handgun with your weak or your support hand only. Um, obviously, once again, safety rule four fingers apply here. What I'm going to utilize is I'm actually going to utilize my knees to pin the gun. And, and one thing I want you to think about from a principal standpoint is anytime we use our knees behind our knee, which I typically won't do, or between our knees, we limit one thing, and that's mobility. So in your training, consider that. I'm not telling you that it's right or wrong. As a matter of fact, with survival shooting techniques, there's no right or wrong, just getting the job done. But things you need to consider in your training that will uh, influence or, or not influence the fight itself. So obviously I'm gonna lose some, some of my mobility when I do this technique. So for this particular technique, I'm simply gonna reach down once again, and I have the, the gun in my Safari Land Duty holster here, so I have to initiate the, the button or the release. Four fingers are gonna go together so I don't accidentally slip that pinky inside the trigger guard. And I'm gonna press the button itself, four fingers are together, and I'm gonna pop the gun out of the holster. Once I've done that, I'm gonna grip the handgun grip itself once again, the strong, uh, strong arm is going to be pinned and out of the way somewhere. If I'm injured or this, this hand is occupied, it would be wherever it would be. But for the, for the drills you're going to do, dry fire and live fire, make sure it's out of the way. I'm simply going to bring the gun out. And notice as I bring the gun out of the holster, the muzzle is going to rotate out and away from my body and my knee. I'm not going to rotate the muzzle toward my body because we'd be violating that muzzle safety rule. And there's no technical reason to do it. You're not going to be any faster if you cover your body with that muzzle. Simply going to place the gun down between my knees, and at this point in time, the muzzle itself should be about parallel with my knees, okay? Any other time I end up shoving the muzzle deep inside my thighs, and it's very difficult to initiate the grip on the handgun. So basically, if you notice where my muzzle is, it's, it's next to my knees, and my knees are already placed together, and I'm simply going to shove the gun down in there and pinch it with my knees. This leaves the grip of the handgun exposed for me to switch hands, rotate over, and I can stand up and start firing the handgun. So that's the knee method. Obviously, when we practice these techniques, we're gonna reverse what we just did, so we get a second repetition reverse, and actually makes it a little bit more difficult and increases your skill. So I'm simply gonna pin the gun back between my knees, switch hands, notice my forefinger grip here for safety reasons, muzzle out and around my body into the holster itself. Check out more videos just like this one at the Personal Defense Network.